Extraordinary last words of Death Row's most notorious killers. Number 5. Clarence Ray Allen. Clarence Ray Allen hired a hitman to kill eight witnesses who testified against him during his trial for the 1974 murder of his son's girlfriend. His last words were, my last words will be, Hoka hey, it's a good day to die, he said. Thank you very much, I love you all. Goodbye. A paroled fellow inmate later killed three of them and was arrested in possession of Allen's hit list, which was used to convict him. He died by lethal injection on January 17, 2006. Number 4. William Bonin. Convicted of the murders of 14 men and boys between 1979 and 1980 but suspected of raping and killing many more, Bonin was nicknamed the Freeway Killer because he would dump his victims along Southern California roadsides. His last words were, I would suggest that when a person has a thought of doing anything serious against the law, that before they did that they should go to a quiet place and think about it seriously. He was executed at San Quentin State Prison by lethal injection on February 23, 1996. Number 3. George Bernard Harris. After winning 500 United States dollars on a craps game in Kansas on March 11, 1989, George Bernard Harris exchanged the money for two machine guns, then enlisted a second man to hold the guns for safekeeping. The second man gave the weapons to a third man to hang on to but when Harris wanted the guns back later that night, the third man couldn't find them, and Harris shot him dead with a revolver. His last words were, somebody needs to kill my trial attorney. He was executed by lethal injection on September 13, 2000. Number 2. Ted Bundy. Bundy was one of America's best-known serial killers but nobody is really sure how many he killed. He was convicted for killing two Florida State University sorority sisters in January 1978, and a 12-year-old girl three weeks later. He carried out all three killings after having escaped from jail in Colorado, where he was facing charges in the 1975 murder of a nurse. His last words were, I'd like you to give my love to my family and friends. He confessed to 30 murders before being executed in Florida's electric chair on January 24, 1989. Number 1. Aileen Warnos. Aileen Warnos was a sex worker along Florida's highways who shot several men between 1989 and 1990. She was convicted of six murders and sentenced to death and her murderous rampage was made into a hit Hollywood movie starring Charlize Theron. Her last words were, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back, like Independence Day, with Jesus, June 6. Like the movie, Big Mothership and all. I'll be back. Warnos was executed by lethal injection on October 9, 2002.